the right thing is you put my name. You love me so much. And I don't know why you so loved me. And they are being very supportive of my ministry. Since I started from Ibitikwara, praying for me and giving me good cancer. I don't know how much she has told me. And we prophesy that very soon, Father will be the most strong ability. And it happened. So I want to say that thank you very much. God will make a bless you. So I hope you appreciate it, please. God has been, my God is shown, a very super woman. Please don't have any blessing and thank you, Mr. Very careful, supportive, and a good mother, and a good wife. Let us just 
pray that God will to listen to you. Like the day of Pentecost, God visit us so that your word will come with power to transform our thinking and to elevate us to your presence where we become transformed and renewed. Thank 
Peter's great epistle in Romans, it is one that there are errors in Roman Catholic teachings. And it came out to the emphasis. Because he said, ah, ah, how can they be paid in conscience? How can they be paid too many? That salvation is Christ Jesus. And that is how the Orthodox Church moved out of the Catholic Church because of the study of the Epistles in the Romans. Christotos is also who fitness by this Epistle. Most of the great theologians will read this Epistle of Romans. So I'm not, I'm not surprised that I'm prepared to go to know about this. And then he said, yes. Let the seal of destroy the power of God through this release to the Romans. And so the first very chapter focus on Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world and faith in him producing salvation. After presenting the doctrine now, he then moves to the practical aspect of Christianity, which we have in chapter 12. If you look at verse 1 of chapter 12, he was able to say, I beseech you therefore, and the no implication of therefore, something must have been coming before. He said, I beseech you before you therefore, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies as what? And really sacrifice. Only acceptable unto God, which is what your disabled service. How can you be a living sacrifice? And how can you present yourself as a living sacrifice unto God? And that is the essence of verse 2, the practical aspect of humans. It is by not conforming to this world, but by transformation of your mind. Transformation of your mind. Chapter 12 is very to some parts. The first part is God's expectation. Your life is a sacrifice unto God. Verse 3 to 8 is telling you that that sacrifice will come to renewal of your mind. And when your mind is renewed, what follows? If you go to it again, you discover what follows. You have the power of the Holy Spirit. Say, for I say to the grace given unto me, Whoever that is among you, not to think of himself, more highly than he ought to be king, but to think superly according to as God has said to every man the measure of things. We are members of one body. We operate in love. We are facing to it during the time of the issue. Then he talks of, of the new law. Verse 9 to 21. Verse 9 to 21. Can we talk to Romans 12, 9 to 21? He said, let not love be the destination, and so on, and so forth. But then, the kind, affection to one another, we brotherly love. This is, these are the outcome of the new one, when you are transformed, when you are revealed. And then, the 13th chapter talks about good citizens. I love the issue, the connect of those that are not be sure at this evening. We must have studied this passage very, very well. You discover that that connect speaks of renewal, unity, and good citizens of this country. And that is the outcome of renewal of mind. You know, as we are gathered here today, I want to challenge us that we need to know the blessing that we are living soundly. And I want to ask the question. That who are you in the house of the Lord? What is the power obeying you as members of this synod? Renewal means to make new. That is, you need to renew your mind. Renewal means to revive. To refresh, to rebuild, or to revitalize. And so at this synod, God is telling you and me that before coming to this synod, when the state of mind 
Lordship of Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's what we have in John chapter 3, verse 3. Have you been to Jesus for that place in heaven? Are you in this synod? This kind of present, but you put a counter or an identity with the Lord Jesus Christ. Of the Holy Spirit. So the agency of the 
is what? Is the Holy Spirit. Remember, the earlier apostles cannot perform. Said they should be together. And on the day of Pentecost, said, We shall receive power when the Spirit come upon you and you be my witnesses. So the prophetic power of the Lord is power of the Holy Spirit. But the power behind the church is power of the Holy Spirit. So without that power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord will be impossible. How do you know that you have the Holy Spirit in you? How do you know? Or are you sure that you have the Holy Spirit in you? The third one is a delicate responsibility. That is, it implies that no other fellow is held accountable for our lives but we ourselves. If I make heaven, I cannot force my wife to make heaven. Christianity is an individual activity. That reward is personal to you. And you can only have it when you are Christ Jesus. And you have the power of the Holy Spirit in you. And that's why I love the, the old liturgy. When you are saying the truth, it is I believe in God. Am I right? But the new person says that we believe in God. But all of us who stand before the throne of judgment to give account of whatever we are doing here on earth, whether good or bad. And that's what you have the first of the church of the family and so when we talk of renewal, it is progressive. You continue to renew your mind. You need the power of Holy Spirit for the basis to renew your mind. And that renewal is personal. Just as I said, the renewal is personal. What about the blessings of God? The blessings of God God for all of us. It is going to ask by faith. You just say, give, and shall do what? So if you don't give, eh? If your faith is big, big things will happen in your life. If your faith is very little, or there is no faith, can you feel the presence of God in your life? Eh? Be the power that you told see. Then on the corona of course. And you talk about the back we will not go back. We are not saying that if we are made to me, he are you by the new Roma, he is 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 by the if I don't know for what, I'm going to be paid for more Christmas than you have got a new one in my year. That's the way we pay. If I don't know, and you go to the other one. If you pay at Bolo, you go to Bolo, you go to the other one. If I go to the other one, 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 so, I just thank God for this message that is telling you today that you need to discover the person that you are serving. Are you looking at people to practice or grow your Christian life? Are you waiting for your pastor or minister before you can renew your mind? You are missing it. And the second aspect of the teaching of this series. Do not conform or be transformed. The scripture is there that what to do and what not to do. Friendship with the world is simply a meeting with God. So when your mind is renewed, then you come out of the world. You will be different from people around you because they will see. That's the difference in your life that this is the life of God. Because they have peace of their existence in answer that the devil of meditation, they are Christ-like. So 
So 